Hello, fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I'm going to introduce you to this awesome book, Lewis Lowry, The Giver. Um, it's a 25th anniversary edition with a new afterword, and it has a good old medal on it. Let's get right on to it. This book is based on a cold world where our community is so strict. If you make one little mistake, you, you, will, you will be released, which means that you will be killed using a painful serum. And if there is a twin, for example, twins, one of them must die because two, two people who look, look exactly the same cannot exist at once. And these children, the children, they don't know who their mother or father is, their birth mother and birth father, and they are, well, they are given to their new parents. And you cannot marry someone who you love. You have to marry. If you want to marry, you just put in a submission form and you'll get a mate that, ha that will control over you or help you become a better person. Very interesting, actually. And I really don't want to live in a society like that. And well, ev and even the people in this place can't even see color. They don't see snow. They can't see colors. They don't see sleds. All they do is to just follow these strict rules, live, become adults, and die, and be released. It's very strict and very boring, in my opinion. Jonas is the main character, and he has been living blind to these rules for all his life, 11 years. And when he becomes 11, that's the time when all of the students, all of the 11-year-olds, will be chosen to do a job. And when, but Jonas, he was skipped, and his, and his job was announced last in the ceremony. Why? Because he was going to be the receiver. And no one knows what the receiver does exactly. And, the, and all they know is that it's a huge honor. And it shows the secret of this society. Now, now, now. Jonas goes to the current receiver's house. Who is very, very old. And the, and the old receiver calls himself the giver. And Jonas himself is this new receiver. And Jonas finds out the receiver's job is to carry the burden of the memories of the past. Which means the memory of color, of love, of fear, famine, hunger, but also of good things. Sunshine, happiness, love, family. All these things cannot, would not be allowed in the cold society that Jonas had lived in for such a long time. And as he gets these sometimes delightful, sometimes painful memories, he realizes how flawed and how bad the society is. And he and the giver plans. Because when Jonas leaves, and when he leaves the boundary of the community that he lives in, the memories that he had received will burst open and give them to every single person in the community. And since there is no new receiver, giver, for a couple of years, those people will have to be forced to keep those memories. And that, the giver says, shall be the start. Shall be the start where this cold world is no longer cold and it is warmer. Well, actually, I think that's what the giver thought about. It. Well, it's not an exact line, okay? And, and so, Jonas... He, with Gabriel, a little newborn baby that they had been keeping as visitor at his house. And he, f and the reason why Jonas was so ticked off was because his father had lied to him. Well, not his birth father, obviously, his adopted father. His father had said that one of, that today they had twins and one of the twins had been comfortable and put to rest. But when he, when the giver showed him the CCTV footage, it showed the baby killed by a serum, all because he was identical to his twin brother. 
I think it's absolutely ridiculous, and Jonas was super ticked off. And when he heard that the little newborn cute baby that had been visiting their house, well, he was going to be released too, killed. So Jonas, taking up his father's bike with the baby seat behind it, ran, ran for it. Took a little bit of left for leftover food, and that was it. He ran out of the horrible cold community. And the community would be forced to withstand all his received memories. And the book ends right there. And I guess it's a pretty good book. I mean, yeah. But I'm pretty sure, like, it's very hard to get through it. Because the first couple chapters is very ten, very thrilling. And, like, you feel, like, anxious. And you feel like this is all unjust. And... It's really annoying, these feelings, when you read this book, so you don't want to read the book. But I guess in the ending, it shows a pretty good moral, and since I have never thought of a society without love, without colors, without snow, without sleds, and everything, hunger, famine, sickness, all of it is gone. No weather, just sun, and sometimes water. <sighs> I will never want to live inside a society like that, and I think it's very interesting, and that Louis Lowry did a good job imagining what it would be like without those basic rights. And I think this is a really great book. Makes you think. And like always, your bookquester and the bookquester. Must read, guys. But if you can't get through it, well, try to be patient.